like an old friend Takes you right back to the kitchen You can almost smell the cake that your grandma made on your birthday Have you ever laid on your back under a poplar tree Thinking about all your memories Looking at the sky Back in 2019, uh, Mammoth reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of their campaign, Reach Your Peak, uh, where they would help people reach their dream goal in climbing. I mean, that could be bouldering, sport climbing, or on a big wall. In essence, just helping someone realize their dream. It sounded like a really cool campaign to me. And then they asked me what kind of dream I had in climbing. Then funny enough, that was two months after I had found Jack's Broken Heart. So I did tell them a Jack, about Jack's Broken Heart and how how it helped me regain my passion for climbing again and that it's like a big dream for me to do it. And it's like maybe it would take a year or two. And they told me like, yeah, man, we'll help you in any way possible to make this dream happen. So we decided to partner up and the release schedule for this campaign was in the beginning of 2020. But we all know how 2020 went. So it got postponed to 2021. So now the campaign is live, finally. And once again, I just want to go over, like this, this is not about just standing hard projects. It's more meaningful than that. So if you have a dream, a passion about the project, something that you've been wanting to do for a very long time, then go down in the link in the description and go to the website and enter. And then tell us about your dream project and what it means to you and what it would feel to have accomplished it. And you can tell us this with both text and, and photos and videos. Um, so give it your best and I'm looking forward to see all the entries because I'm going to be there and go through all of them. Yeah, so now you know the full story. The partnership has been on for many years as you know and Mammon is going to be with me when I go back to Magical this summer. So they're going to they're gonna hang with me for a while longer and I'm really happy about that. This, since this is a road to Jack's broken heart, uh, there is some try hard, there's some climbing. I actually have three stories and they all, most of them, well the two of them didn't go according to plan. Like complete opposite. So I wanted to share that because I think it's, I don't know, I think it's slightly funny. So story one was that I went outside with Emil to a 7A crimpy boulder. And we went in with the mindset, you know, like, maybe, you know, it's flashable. Maybe there will be a good kind of efficient story here, get some good climbing in. And it did not go according to plan. I could do like the first two moves and I couldn't get anywhere in three hours. So it's just getting eaten alive by the mosquitoes. Yeah, and, and you know, getting a bit frustrated, letting, just had to let go of the ego there and like, okay, I thought Tommy was flashable. And obviously it wasn't. Yeah, so I had to like start trying a bunch of different betas. Uh, and I was like standing on my left foot and I can really like, I did learn to like press down and like feel tension in the lower back, even though I was falling. It's like a good experience. By the end of the day, that didn't work. But then I also tried with like left high heel, which I rarely do. And it felt good, I could get the pocket move and then the crimp, but I was like so stuck, I couldn't move anywhere. So then like that beta didn't work either. And then like in my, in my desperation, I was like, okay, shirtless power. I'll try like a other beta, where it's like you do far right dead point. And then we'll see if that goes. And it felt good, but it's the same thing. It's like you get, I got stuck when I went to it. So it didn't work either. So I think the, the original beta of just crimping down hard on the left hand is like the beta to do it. Right now I'm just not strong enough to do it. So overall, like it was, even though the day didn't turn out as it, as I thought it would, it was just nice to be able and just try a bunch of different betas and get to know my body in very different position I haven't been in before. So I'll definitely come back to this boulder sometime during the summer or autumn. Yeah, and on the second story, it was on a 7A compression boulder. We went out, and that is not my style at all. So I did like 30 red point goes after I figured out all the moves, and it became like another three hour session. So it's like, <laughs> I had done a lot of climbing. Well, on the other 7A that I've done, it wasn't that much climbing in it. It's like two moves, but it's a really nice boulder. So I was like, well, now I can get some climbing in at least. So I started giving it some tries and uh, got completely shut down in the beginning. And then out of nowhere, I started to like, on one go, be pretty close. I was like going through the crocs, replace a heel with the right foot, and then you lean over and try to get into this right hand pocket. And just when I was gonna grab it, like my balance just like didn't, like my mind just locked itself and I couldn't go anywhere and it just fell off. It's like total heartbreaker. But then now in the next go, 
I actually ended up sending the boulder. It was like true desperate. Um, so I'll show you, I show the sun from two different angles. And then, uh, yeah, you can see, see the desperation. And then I was like, I was like panicking at the top out, like complete panic, uh, but I did survive. Come here now. Yeah! Come here now. Hold it up there. Up on the no, Come in. Yeah, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in, come in. Yes, come in, come in, come in. Vad upp med fötterna i klickan. So that those are like the two first stories and it's funny it's like one you think you'll do it and don't do it. And the second one, you're like, it's no chance I'll do it, and then I'll do it. Uh, and then the third one, the third story, is inside. It's on a 7A uh, plus purple problem that I tried like a month ago, and I didn't send it. And Cordelia uh, climbed it in one of my videos, so I'll show you here like a bit of, of how it looks. Um, so I want to go back and try to do the 7A plus, because I haven't done a 7A plus in a couple of months. Um, so that's that's the third story. Yeah, I'll cut to that footage, and then uh, yeah, you will see. You will see how it goes. So for this story, this part, I'm gonna try this purple seven A plus. Nice. <laughs> I didn't go as according to plan, so I'm just gonna give it another try. Give it another try. I'll rest a bit more this time. Okay. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Come in, come in. Uh, it's progress. Damn it. Woo. Good I'm effort. Give it, I'm gonna have one more try. One more try. Nice. Come here, Nuf. Come here, Eric. Come here. Come here. Come here. It wasn't pretty on any level, but I take it. Next is 7, seven B. I actually went out with Cordelia. Maybe I can borrow the video of Cordelia doing it. But it's like an outdoor 7 B that we've been working on. So it will be like the next step. Yeah, so now we know all the stories, now you know the partnership. And uh, I'm looking forward to do more climbing videos. It's been a while once again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you very soon.
十分吧。后面，前面的，前面的。后面，后面的，后面，后面。Nice, fun. I feel so smart. Okay, 